Hello and welcome to Hit Bullseye. My name is Manish and in this video I'm going to discuss with you the current affairs for the second week of December 2022. So let's take a look at the issues quickly. Sabse pehle hai the 23rd Hornbill Festival. So Hornbill Festival is a very famous festival in the Northeast. We will see in which state it is celebrated or uski kya important speciality hai. Then the Agni Warrior Exercise. This exercise has been held between India and one other country's armed forces. We will see what the significance of this exercise is and what is the name of that country. Then India's first dark night sky reserve. India's first dark night sky reserve is going to be set up. You know, it's ironic that uh, we have to reduce the light pollution to an extent that we actually need to find the natural dark sky because a lot of stars a lot of heavenly bodies are visible if we do not have the light pollution around but that is not the case so we will see where that reserve is uh, you know proposed to be set up then the first country to receive 100 billion dollars in remittances it's a quite a familiar country we will find which si country hai. जिसके लोग जो यू नो दूसरी कंट्रीज में गए हुए हैं और सबसे ज्यादा पैसे वो अपनी कंट्री में वापस भेजते हैं दैट इज रिमिटेंसेस सो 100 बिलियन डॉलर्स रिमिटेंस रिसीव करने वाली कंट्री बन गई है एंड इफ यू हैव गेस्ड इट यू हैव गेस्ड इट राइट देन बीबीसी द ब्रिटिश ब्रॉडकास्टिंग कॉर्पोरेशन हैज यू नो लॉन्च्ड 100 मोस्ट इन्फ्लुएंशियल वुमेंस लिस्ट बिकॉज़ दिस इज द एंड ऑफ द ईयर सो यू गेट ऑल दीस लिस्ट्स तो हम देखेंगे कि इंडिया की कौन सी वुमेन हैं जो इस लिस्ट में आई हैं Similarly, I say a Forbes ki bhi list hai, that also we will take a look at. Then Mirabai Chanu has created ripples yet again in weightlifting. She has won silver medal in the world championship, which is a major feat. You know, complementing with her other achievements. Then Goblin Mode. Last week we did Gaslighting as the word of the year for the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. And this goblin mode is the word of the year for the Oxford Dictionary 2022. We'll see what is the meaning of goblin mode. And many of us may find it quite familiar as well. Then Volodymyr Zelensky. This person has been in news for all the good and bad reasons. The president of Ukraine. And now he is the Time Magazine's person of the year. Then the Forbes list of world's 100 most powerful women. This may be India ki che women. Uh, you know, in a feature ki hai, we'll see who those women are. And finally, the UN Convention on Biological Diversity. So, 15th COP of UN Convention on Biological Diversity. Kaha pe ho rahi hai, uski kya significance hai? Let's take a look at all these issues one by one. Sabse pehle, 23rd Hornbill Festival. So, 23rd Hornbill Festival ho raha hai in none other than Nagaland. Nagaland is the state where Hornbill Festival is held. November 8, 8 December to 10th December tak ye hua. Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar was the chief guest at the inaugural ceremony. Basically, ye tribals ka ek tarah se umbrella festival mana jata hai. So in the northeast we have all these tribes and unka ek tarah se umbrella festival is the Hornbill Festival. It is known as the Festival of Festivals and showcases Nagaland's rich culture. So Hornbill Festival, Tribes, Nagaland and Jagdeep Dhankar as the chief guest. These are all facts you should know. Then the Agni Warrior Exercise. So India undertakes joint exercises with so many countries. Agni Warrior Exercise ka ye 12th edition tha, and it is a bilateral exercise between Singapore and India. Singapore India mein army ki exercise hai ye. Right? Jo navy ki exercise hoti hai, that is Simbex. Singapore India maritime bilateral exercise, that is Simbex. Wo navy ki hai. Army ki is Agni warrior. Aur ye kaha pe hui? Devlali Maharashtra. Right? India was among the first countries to set up diplomatic relations after the independence of Singapore in 1965. India-Singapore relations tab se hai. Jab se Singapore independent hua hai, 1965 se. Next, India's first dark night reserve. So many of us, 
and and by many of us i mean 80 to 90 percent of us have never seen an actual natural dark sky so this is somehow what it looks like you know properly dark having all the stars and heavenly bodies because we have a lot of light pollution around us you know cities have all those lights and everything so ladakh mein set up hone wala hai india ka pehla dark night sky reserve kahan pe hanle hanle ek village hai changthang region mein yahan pe changthang wildlife sanctuary bhi hai so in hanle village it is going to be set up so there are in about 18 locations in this village powerful telescopes will be installed for stargazing so that you can look at the stars 4500 meters ki elevation par hai and uh, indian institute of astrophysics ne establish kiya tha yahan pe ek telescope which is the second highest optical telescope in the world already yahan pe ek telescope hai lekin ab 18 telescope set up kiye jayenge to so, tripartite agreement sign hua tha ut administration mein leh hill council mein aur indian institute of astrophysics mein taki yahan par ye dark night sky reserve ban sake so leh is going to have the first dark night sky reserve in india and the first country to have to get 100 billion dollars in remittances is india india wale log bahut sare foreign countries mein jate hain aur wahan se bahut sara paisa wapas bhejte hain india is the फर्स्ट कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड जिसको हंड्रेड बिलियन डॉलर की रिमिटेंसेज मिली है एक साल में अदरवाइज जनरली दिस फिगर यूज टू बी समेयर बिटवीन एटी टू नाइनटी बिलियन डॉलर बट दिस ईयर द रिकॉर्ड हैज बिन ब्रोकन वन ऑफ द रीजन इज कि कोविड से अब हम बाहर निकल आए हैं एंड देर इज ग्रोथ अराउंड द वर्ल्ड और दोबारा से वो प्री पेंडेमिक लेवल पे पहुंच गया है तो वर्ल्ड बैंक के अकॉर्डिंग इंडिया हैज रिसीव हंड्रेड बिलियन डॉलर टिल नाउ इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी और हैरानी की बात यह है कि पूरे साउथ एशिया में 10 परसेंट डिक्लाइन है रिमिटेंसेज में लेकिन इंडिया में 12 परसेंट इंक्रीज है वो यहाँ आपको बताया कि लास्ट टाइम देर वॉज 90 92 टू बिलियन डॉलर तो 12 परसेंट उस पर इंक्रीज है यू नो तो इट इज 100 बिलियन डॉलर ऑलरेडी राइट दिस इज हाउ द ट्रेंड हैज बिन बक्ट इंडियंस जो है यू नो दे सेंड अ लॉट ऑफ मनी बैक होम टिपिकल इमोशनल इंडियन मेंटेलिटी दैट इज विजिबल इन दिस एज वेल नेक्स्ट इज ब्रिटिश ब्रॉडकास्टिंग कॉर्पोरेशन की हंड्रेड मोस्ट इन्फ्लुएंशियल वेमेन्स लिस्ट राइट तो इसमें फोर इंडियन वेमेन है फीचर एंड दिस इज रियली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट नंबर वन इज ऑफकोर्स एक्ट्रेस प्रियंका चोपड़ा उस फोटोग्राफ यू कैन सी ओवर हेयर सो एक्ट्रेस प्रियंका चोपड़ा इज वन सेकेंड इज ऑथर गीतांजलि श्री जिन्हें इस बार का बुकर प्राइज भी दिया गया फॉर हर नॉवल रेत समाधि और टूम ऑफ सैंड so gitanjali shree is the second third engineer and astronaut sirisha bandla i think she was the one that went into space sirisha bandla and social worker sneha jawale these are the four women in this list so ye charo naam aapke liye important hai then mirabai chanu has created yet another record she has she already won an olympic silver medal and now she has won silver इन द वर्ल्ड वेट लिफ्टिंग चैंपियनशिप जो कि कोलंबिया में हुआ है राइट सो सिल्वर मेडल इन वर्ल्ड वेट लिफ्टिंग चैंपियनशिप हैरानी की बात यह है कि इन्होंने यू नो उस कंटेंडर को हराया जिसका ओलंपिक्स में गोल्ड मेडल था सो दैट इज सो शी बीट द टोक्यो चैंपियन हु इन हुआ ऑफ चाइना राइट और इन्होंने कंबाइंड दो सौ छ किलोग्राम वेट जो है वो अपलिफ्ट किया मणिपुर से बिलोंग करती है मीरा बाई चानू और 2017 के वर्ल्ड वेट लिफ्टिंग चैंपियनशिप में इन्होंने गोल्ड जीता था सो दिस इज सेकंड मेडल इन द वर्ल्ड वेट लिफ्टिंग चैंपियनशिप और कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स में भी ये गोल्ड जीत के चुकी हैं जो अभी बर्मिंग में हुआ था सो क्वाइट अ लॉट ऑफ फैदर्स ऑन हर कैप गॉबलिन मोड दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ अ फनी न्यूज यू नो गॉबलिन मोड का मतलब होता है अ टाइप ऑफ बिहेवियर विच इज अन अपोलोजेटिकली सेल्फ इंडल्जेंट lazy slovenly or greedy typically in a way that reject social norms or expectations you know thoda sa negative connotation ho gayi iska funny matlab ye hai ki it's like you know the covid time is there everywhere there is lockdown you are sitting on your bed and you want everything there you know you don't care about what's happening in the world that is when you are in goblin mode so that is the meaning of goblin mode and this is the oxford dictionary's word of the year goblin mode 
unapologetically self-indulgent behavior is when you are in goblin mode. This can have, you know, hairline difference and this can have a bit negative connotation as well. But, dono tarah se isko aap dekh sakte. Volodymyr Zelensky has been declared by the Time magazine as the person of the year. Not only Volodymyr Zelensky, in fact the people of Ukraine entirely, you know, in totality have been declared. So, Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky, as well as the spirit of Ukraine, is the 2022 person of the year for showing resistance to, uh, you know, Russian invasion and also for giving hope to millions of people in Ukraine. Iske alawa, time heroes of the year, ye bhi bada important hai. So, this is time person of the year. Time heroes of the year mein women in Iran have been collectively given this. Why? Because of the anti-hijab protests in Iran. Basically, Iran may there was a woman called Masa Amini. Masa Amini. Jinki custody may death ho thi. You know, as allegation hai ki unko maar diya gaya. So she once wore her hijab a bit improperly. To uske wajah se aisa kaha gaya ki shayad unko maar diya gaya. Custody mein unki death hoi. Which is quite questionable. Uske baad se Iran mein protests chal rahe hain pichle kuch mahinon se. Aur usme hundreds of protesters have died. Specifically women. To women of Iran have been named time heroes of the year so these two are really really important time person of the year is one of the most important questions of the year then we have the forbes world's most powerful women list forbes wali women list Wothi bbc ki so in this there are six women that have featured so one is finance minister nirmala sitaraman Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, Biocon Chief Kiran Mazumdar Shaw, Naika Founder Faguni Nair, right? Uske Baad, Sebi Chairperson Madhvi Puri Book, HCL Chairperson Roshni Nadar Malhotra, and Steel Authority of India Chairperson Soma Mandal. Ye che, mostly from the industry, but one from politics also, that is Nirmala Sitaraman. So all of these women have featured in the top... Forbes 100 women's list. Six women in this and four Indian women in the BBC list. And finally, we have the UN Convention on Biological Diversity, UNCBD. This is the 15th conference of parties. COP15. Originally, this was China, mein honi thi, but pe COVID was going on, so now it's Montreal, Canada. Mein ho rahi hai. Montreal, Canada was starting in Originally scheduled to be held in Kuming, China, right? But COVID situation ki wajah se shift hui hai. And uh, isme post 2020 global biodiversity framework ko finalize kiye jane ka chance hai. That it will be finalized in this meeting. But one of the splashiest and most contested targets is a commitment to conserve at least 30% of Earth's land and water by 2030. Iske upar thoda sa flashpoints hone wale hai. But other than that, this is a very important convention, UN Convention on Biological Diversity, UNCBD. Jo COP27 hui thi last month, that was UN Framework Convention on Climate Change. Wo uski 27th meeting thi, UNFCCC. Aur ye 15th meeting hai, UNCBD, Convention on Biological Diversity. Venue, Montreal, Canada. Right? So, that is all. We had to cover in this week's video. I hope you liked it. And if it is so, please show your love by clicking on the like button and subscribing to the channel and also sharing it with your friends who can also benefit from the same. This is me, Manish Mittal, signing off. Thank you.